Right now, a revolution in biology and medicine is occurring. New miraculous techniques are being built and developed for treatment of cancer based on our deep understanding of what's wrong with the cancer cell. The Cork Cancer Center and the university here in Cork is such an outstanding institution. We knew that before we came here because we've been interacting with many of your famous professors for years. But I wasn't prepared for the magnitude of the excellence and the depth of expertise that's here in the Cork Cancer Center. The Cork Cancer Research Centre is helping achieve new heights of understanding and treatment of cancer at its cutting-edge research facility in Ireland. With a team of highly skilled and committed scientists, doctors, surgeons and nurses, the centre is carrying out groundbreaking research on both primary and secondary cancers. Through its close ties with multiple teaching hospitals and universities, the centre is focused at advancing new treatments from three key research themes. These are cell death and survival mechanisms, gene therapy and novel therapeutics and related devices. From these themes, cancer questions are being resolved for the benefit of patients, the primary motivation of the centre. Bill Mannix was diagnosed with melanoma cancer over four years ago. When the standard treatment of chemotherapy and radiotherapy did not work, he was referred to Cork Cancer Research Centre for electrochemotherapy. You always think of somebody else as having cancer. It never happens to yourself. But when I was told, I was, I was very down. I like talking about this particular case because the treatment is spectacular. It's spectacular outcome after such huge uh, tumour on his leg. It was the size of a tennis ball. It was significantly large, growing on the surface of his leg. And he could have ended up with the amputation of his leg if the uh, uh, dev development of the tumour progressed. So the electrochemotherapy was a good option for him. If the operation was such a, in such a way that, that it would uh, it would prevent me from walking or exercising. Again, it would really shat shattered my ev every bit of my existence if, if I was stuck to a chair for the rest of my life. Electrochemotherapy is just one of CCRC's success stories. Pioneered by the centre since 2003, electrochemotherapy uses mild electric pulses to make the cancer cells more porous and better able to absorb chemotherapy drugs. The advantage of this treatment is that it is localised to the tumour. Lower drug levels can be used with greater impact and minimal side effects to the patient. During the first treatment we removed the lesion and we treated the base of it. Um, the lesion regrew after. We treated, we treated him again and again and again in total he had six sessions and we can hardly see anything on the surface of his skin at the moment. Looking at, at my ankle, it, it looks good. I'm walking and I'm gardening and I'm, I'm doing everything, you know, so I was lucky that uh, I went to Cork. The next phase of this research uses a patented device developed at the centre to apply this same approach to colorectal and esophageal cancers. A key strength of the centre is its dedicated staff who work tirelessly at getting their treatments from the lab into patients' lives. We are focused on trying to understand how uh, cancer cells respond to chemotherapeutic drugs because cancer cells um, are very resistant to chemotherapeutic drugs. And what we have discovered in the lab is that there's a process called autophagy which helps these cells survive. I mean, these are the cells that can then um, go on and develop the secondary tumours and these are the tumours that um, will kill people, it's the secondary tumours, so if we can eliminate um, these cells then that's, that's, that's a cure for a patient. What we've done is we've shown that when we treat these tumours with the commonly used chemotherapeutics they fail to respond, they grow, but um, with our new treatment model which overcomes this drug resistance we've induced 
cell death in these tumours and we've got a response, a great response in our solid tumours to our combination treatment. Well all discovery is exciting uh, for a scientist um, but if you can discover something that's going to mean something for, for human health or improve, improve uh, human health then that's ten times more exciting. Another group at the centre is looking at gene therapy, how to deliver target genes into cancer cells. We have developed a vaccine. This vaccine specifically enhances the person's immune system so that it detects and clears the body of tumour cells. And this immune system, once it's stimulated, it can specifically target tumour cells and not other normal cells around the tumour. Hence, it's quite a specific target, plus it can also target tumour cells that have spread to other parts of the body. This is what we call immunogene therapy. I sincerely believe that the treatment we have developed in this lab will further improve and enhance treatment for patients. This work is very important to me and I hope to establish a therapeutic that is both safe to the patient and a very effective treatment of a variety of cancer types. We've already conducted three full trials here based on uh, discoveries which were made in the lab. We're just starting a fourth one and we're in preparation of a fifth one. And I think over 10 years that is quite a good performance by any standard for any lab in any place in the world. We are developing a, a repertoire of skills that internationally is being recognised. So we do have a, a place um, and a role to play in collaboration with the, with the international community. So rather than us working alone in competition with everybody abroad, we're, we're joining forces with people who are happy to do so with us because we do have um, particular skills, particular insights and um, some, some intellectual um, property and abilities that, that can be applied. The work being done here that's funded by the Cork Cancer Research Fund is, is certainly at the cutting edge of science. It's really um, uh, quite impressive. When you can see patients being treated with technology that has been developed at the centre, patients improving their quality of life improving, it's very easy to see the benefits of doing research in the first place. So I think that helps to drive everybody working at the centre forward to say that there's a very good reason behind why they do the work they do in the first place and why they put the effort in. And you know that, 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 that is very much a driving factor behind everybody working for the CCRC. I think the future is going to be great. There are new um, designer type drugs being developed. The gene therapy is going to be just a massive explosion. And then of course um, the new diagnostic methods that are becoming available, uh, the personalised treatment that's coming out uh, from looking at the genetic aspects of the cancers and so on like that. It's going to be very, very good. We've come a long way in the past 10 years and the pace is moving faster, so I'd say in the next 10 years we'll, we'll come a long distance. Several of the, the tumours that are today incurable will be cured within the next 10 years. No doubt about that. And we'll be part of it here.